I'm going to show you how to create your gender variable as a dummy, which I ask you to do when you do multiple regression on the test. Note we have a variable gender here where one is male and two is female. I'm going to do this where females are one and males are zero. Okay, and I'm going to show you both the ways I want you to present me with it. <clears throat> so, first thing you want to do is do a frequency distribution table. Move gender over, push OK. So you'll see I have 27 males and 8 females. Okay. I'm going to recode it. I show you this in another variable, excuse me, in another video, but it has uh, three categories. So same idea. So you go recode into different variables. Okay. You move your variable over. We'll call this female. I like to name what I'm going to code it as one, and then I like to label it like this. One equals female, zero equals male, like that. Push change. You'll see it changed. Press old and new values. So remember, females were two. We're going to make those ones. Add. Males were ones. We're going to make those zeros. Add. Continue. Press OK. OK. I'm going to do frequency distributions of both variables now, the old one and the new one. So here's my new one. They should match up. OK. 28 males, excuse me, 27 males. Look, zeros were men, right? 28. So I actually want you to provide both of these to me so I can see that you've created females as one and they're the correct number. So I see that there's eight females here. I know that this is one and with this proper um, label up here. So you're going to provide both of these on the test. So I know that when you do multiple regression, you have a correct dummy. Okay, done with the video.